In this video, I'll be talking about neurodegenerative diseases as an overview. Neurodegenerative diseases are a group of diseases which are associated with progressive loss of neurons. So there's going to be progressive worsening of the condition because of progressive loss of neurons. And another interesting fact is that a particular group of neurons with functional relationships are affected. So although these neurons are located at um, separate uh, separate locations in the brain, but if they are if they, if they are having the same um, function or they have functional relationship, all these groups of neurons are going to be affected if they have the same common functional relationships. So that's one interesting fact in the case of uh, neurodegenerative, in the case of most of the neurodegenerative diseases. So before starting this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so that you'll not miss out any of my, any of the videos which I upload. So let's talk about the pathology of uh, neurodegenerative diseases. Neurodegenerative diseases mostly will have accumulation of protein aggregates in the neurons. And the main common cause of accumulation of protein aggregates is found to be various mutations which will affect protein conformation and uh, various other changes in the proteins which will lead to the abnormal uh, accumulation within the neurons especially leading to damage of the neurons. And these mutations will lead to um, an imbalance between protein synthesis and clearance. There will be synthesis of abnormal proteins and clearance of these abnormal proteins will also be affected leading to an imbalance between the synthesis and clearance leading to excess accumulation of um, excess accumulation of abnormal proteins within the neurons. So these protein aggregates uh, within the neurons are known to elicit immune response from within the neurons leading to neuron damage and these um, protein aggregates are per se toxic to the neurons. And another interesting fact is that uh, if the protein aggregates are present in one particular region of the brain, they are also found to um, move from one particular region of the brain to another region of the brain and causing damage there also okay so that's one of the um, interesting feature with regarding to the protein aggregates which are found in neurodegenerative diseases and this particular property is found to be very similar to that which is found with the case of prions i'm very sure that you guys be knowing what prions are but although uh, this property is similar with prions, another interesting fact is that uh, these diseases are not transmitted from person to person, but diseases which are caused by prions are actually transmitted from person to person. So that is one of the differentiating features between neurodegenerative diseases and the diseases caused by prions. So these protein aggregates are called as inclusions. Okay. And examples of inclusions includes a beta inclusions which are called as plaques, tau which are called as tangles, alpha synuclein. These are some of the examples of inclusions and there are some more inclusions uh, which are specific to uh, various neurodegenerative diseases. So just know the names of these inclusions if you are new to this chapter and when we talk about individual neurodegenerative diseases in detail, you will come to know which, neuro which inclusion is present in which disease. So some of the examples of neurodegenerative diseases include Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease, frontotemporal lobar degeneration, progressive supranuclear palsy, corticobasal degeneration, and here comes one of the very important disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, spinocerebellar ataxia, spinal bulbar muscular atrophy. These are some of the neurodegenerative diseases uh, which are important and worthy to be discussed and I'll be making individual videos in detail on all these diseases okay based on the response I get for this video so if I get 20 likes on this video I'll know that you guys need videos on these topics and I'll be making videos on individual diseases on all these diseases in detail in my upcoming videos so make sure to hit this hit, a, hit the like button right now and share this video to your friends and tell them to like this video too so if you guys like my videos and if you got if you guys want me to make more videos, um, you can visit my Patreon website uh, called as patreon.com slash simple and you can support my channel by donating there and you, you can check out my blog um, at medwitsmadesimple.blogspot.com where I'll be posting some important tips and tricks 
um, uh, on surviving in med school and various other uh, topics so if you're interested you can um, you can check that out and you can follow me on instagram at medwits made simple one and you can text me your doubts and various feedback and you can ask me anything on my instagram account and you can check out my facebook page at facebook.com slash midwits made simple where i'll be posting the same videos i post on youtube and in addition to that if i found if i find any interesting questions i'll be posting on my facebook page so you can check that out too so thank you guys for watching this video till the end and as remember that i'll make i'll be making videos on all the neurodegenerative diseases in detail if i get 20 likes on this video so make sure to hit the like button right now and share this video to your friends and tell them to hit the like button too and based on that if i get 20 likes uh, i'll be making um videos on individual neurodegenerative diseases so thank you guys so much for watching till the end and i'll see you guys in my next video